Welcome back to a very, very special episode of Inside Irons. We're here at the Caversham Wildlife Park with Paolo de Coalio. Yeah. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. You, better get, you better get his name right or else it's going to thump you up. <laughs> but before all of that, we caught up with Divine Mubama and George Earthy. Paolo, did you see the game the other night? Guys, we're here at the Inside Irons studio. I'm here with Divine Mubama and George Earthy. Lads, how are you? Yeah, good. Good, thanks. thanks. Good, good. How's that? How's the jet lag? Still not really got over it. But <laughs> have you not? What time? What time are you going to sleep? What time are you waking up? For me, recently it's been about maybe four or five o'clock in the morning Same sleeping. Here. Yeah, Same here. struggling and then waking up like what nine thirty for breakfast. So. Is it? Is it your first time in Australia? Yeah, yeah. Do you like yeah. it? Yeah, it's nice. All right. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Nice little view, though, from the hotel office. Yeah. Now, lads, um, you've had one hell of a season. You won the Youth Cup. You won the league. Is there anything else left to win? No, I think, you know, last season was was a good season for us all. Um, you know, I think from the first team down, obviously, not not as good as what we thought we'd do in the, in the league, obviously, in the first team. But, you know, from from Europe and all the way down to the to the under 18s getting the youth cup and, and winning the league and stuff like that you know it was good what so what 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 was the key to the success you just all gelled or because it was it was one hell of a season wasn't it yeah, yeah for the just, 18s yeah it's got a great group yeah like a sick yeah it's like, like family almost like we're actually all friends though that's the thing yeah. Like, is it yeah, yeah so it's, a lot of us been together since we was like what young, nine yeah, eight yeah, yeah. so kind of like just risen through the like, like ranks with right. each other so it's like it's just natural, really. And there was one thing that we always spoke about, like youth cup, like playing we, together, winning it. It's been yeah. a while since the under 18s actually yeah. won that, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. To be honest, I don't think we ever thought we was gonna lose. Lose, like, we, yeah, we, we didn't always think we were gonna lose. Yeah. That's, like, yeah. we're gonna win this. Like, that's some mentality. Yeah. That. Yeah. Who? Th it's it's another reason for the fans to be excited as well. Who who are some of the youngsters to look out for? Obviously, you two are ballers. You can't see yourself. Who else? Who who else are you putting in? I'd say pretty much all like Kaylin Casey. Pretty much all of the boys from the. All the youth cup squad, hundred yeah. percent, definitely every single one of them. Love it, lads, love it. Now let's have a little chat about tomorrow's game yeah. against Spurs. Uh, Divine, we spoke a couple of days ago. Yeah. I said you were going to score two against Perth, yeah. one against Spurs. You scored one against Perth. Yeah. You obviously hit the crossbar as well. Yeah. Uh, so I'm now going to change my prediction and say you're going to score two tomorrow. Two tomorrow. You yeah. on board with that? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Oh, nice, nice, George. How about you, mate? How was it playing out there? Yeah, it was a good experience um obviously i haven't really played in front of like that many fans before like obviously in the youth club we've done it once or twice but yeah seeing like all the fans out there when you come on it's like really like wow kind yeah. of moment like there's quite a few west ham fans out here yeah, isn't there yeah, yeah. i was surprised george Mental. what kind of player are you um creative like like to get in pockets like to play forward like quick sharp short sharp stuff so that's what i kind of like to do yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take yeah, that. That's yeah, giving yeah. the fans something to look <laughs> yeah, forward to. Now, we caught up with a gaffer earlier at the press conference ahead of West Ham Tottenham. Let's take a little look at what he had to say. It's a great experience for us all. It really is. Uh, and I've never been to Perth before, so it was. it's great to come and see it. And uh, certainly, new city, uh, or it feels like that to us anyway, and traffic doesn't seem too bad, and lots of good things about it, I have to say. There we go. It's going to be a big game tomorrow. Spurs, boys. Spurs Ooh. don't get much bigger than that. I know it's a pre-season, yeah. but I would love personally. I'd love to see you absolutely smash them. Uh, how do you feel it's going to go? Is it? Is, does it feel special because it's Spurs? Yeah, there's always that kind of feeling around it. I think um, obviously for me, growing up as a West Ham fan, it's like love watching a derby. Mm. West Ham Spurs is such a big game. So like actually getting to be involved in it, I think it definitely makes it that more special. Who are you looking forward to coming up against? Because Spurs have brought a big team over here. They've brought all their sort of first teamers and stuff. So, who are you looking forward to, D? Um, not looking forward to come up against anyone, to be fair. <laughs> no. Just <kind> of, <laughs> nah, I just, <laughs> I just sort of play. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the main thing. And play, obviously, you're going to come up against top players and stuff like that. But, you know, as young players, that's that's something you look forward to. Um yeah, you know, playing against the best of the best and, you know, I'm happy that they've brought everyone, you know, just give us youngsters when we get a chance, you know, to 
you know, show what we can do and things like that. But yeah, like Jules said, it's a it's a big game, you know. Um, whatever it is, friendly or cup match, whatever, um, you know, it's still a big game and yeah, should be good. Love it, George. What about you? Anyone you're looking forward to coming up against? Um, I mean, I'm just looking forward to see all of them. Really, I think the ones like Harry Kane and Madison, Son, all of them like kind of, you know, they're the top top players. So I think getting to see that kind of level close up, I think, will be I, definitely good. I expect you to run rings around them, mate. No <laughs> problem, no problem. Uh, Fee, if you score, can I give you a celebration to do? Pre-season, man. Don't do celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to get one from you? Yeah, go on. Yes? Yeah. Okay, right. So for inside irons, yeah. obviously, I, I, I want two eyes, just like that. Two eyes, yeah. Yeah? Like we got it? <laughs> yeah, cool. Calm <laughs> There we go. Okay, the celebration is locked in. It's going to be a wild game, no matter what happens. And talking of wild, me and Coley caught up with some wild life. Let's check it out. Wow, I can't believe it, mate. We've just seen Paolo De Qualio. What do you make of him? <laughs> He's a top man, isn't he? He, know, he knows what he wants out of life. He didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're off to see the Wombats. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. They're supposed to be very sociable, aren't they? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I've seen the band. They were, they were, they were pretty good. <laughs> oh, before we see the Wombats, let's see a little quokka. Nigel Rio quokka. Nigel Rio quokka. Oh, he's there. Who's there. Little, oh, little, my oh. God. Ain't you cute, little man? Hey, stop hiding. So we found out uh, the quokka's not called Nigel. Um, yeah, she's right. actually called Lila, but she'll always be Nigel to us, isn't that right? <laughs> Carlton, check this, mate. Check this. Uh -huh. Have you seen this over here? What? Have a look at that over there. Massive snake. It's all right. Come on, let's go hold it. Hold it? Yeah. Nah, bro, that's your bag. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Come on. Nah, 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 bro. You can go and do what you need to do. I'll just watch oh. you from afar. Wow. Okay, I'm a bit nervous now. Oh, wow, <laughs> my God. Wow, that gives you the ick. That's what gives you the ick. Oh, I like this one. Anything with fur on it, I prefer. <laughs> Prefer wordplay. Okay, right, now it's time for the Wombats, mate. Do you know any songs by the Wombats? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm a bit jittery, as you can see at the moment, because there's things flying around. Yeah. There's, there's snakes you're, slivering. You're on edge. I'm on edge, mate. <laughs> so, we're in Wombat territory here. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, why is my it, God. Why did he just spread out like that, bro? <laughs> Coley, this is how they sleep. On their back, like this, yeah. Do you know, when I was a kid, Carlton Cole was one of my favourite players, and now I'm stood here in Australia watching him hold a wombat. <laughs> this is so weird. It's like a fever dream. Okay, thank you. Oh, here we go. Food time. Oh. Hungry? Oh, yes. It's about to get serious. It's about to get serious. It's about to get serious. I will. Kangaroos no, like yes. boxing that, though, don't they? Coley, kangaroos box, don't they? Oh yeah, they can fight. They'll take you on. So get some vitamin D. <laughs> wow. Needs a little bit of colour, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> she don't want my food. <laughs> Why did that she hates away from me. You? She hates me. Oh no. Yeah. Right. What's he got that I haven't? What has he got that I haven't? Let's see. I have to see the tree kangaroo. What? Sorry, what? The tree, the tree kangaroo? The tree kangaroo. Wait, hold on. So a kangaroo that lives in a tree? That's right. Is this just one? Yeah. Where's his mates? Solitary. So he's just a loner? Yeah. Just the one kangaroo that thought it'd be smart. Do you know what? I'm going up in a tree, boys. <laughs> if you've got the ability, follow me. If you ain't, <laughs> you're on your own set. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, plenty of animals there, and now it's time for an animal themed upside down quiz. Divine, you ready? 60 seconds on the clock, time starts now. Which animal, Which animal is a joey? Broccoli. They jump. Kangaroo. Correct. Which animal is known to have three hearts? This is a tough one, this. Uh, Pass. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's cheating going on in the studio. <laughs> what? What is a group of wolves called? A of wolves. Uh, 
a pack of wolves. Correct, <laughs> correct. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this is going to have to go to VAR, you know. Oh, it's my days. <laughs> Oh, right. Right. <laughs> Which Aussie animal can sleep up to 22 hours a day? It's a cute little tree hugger. Kangaroo. Koala. What oh. kind of animal is a German Shepherd? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. How, how, how many humps does a camel have? Two. Correct. What bird has a brain smaller than its eyes? Say that again. What bird has a brain smaller than its eyes? Ostrich. Correct. How far away can a wolf smell its prey? Is it two miles or four miles? Two miles. Correct. Come on. Oh, and that is time. And I can confirm. You got five correct. It's a bit of a dubious one, but I'm going <laughs> to give it to you. So you're, you're not doing too bad on the leaderboard. You're just behind Colin, who got seven. Just a random West Ham fan <laughs> that we did it with. You didn't do too bad, mate. I'll give you that. You didn't do too bad. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Divine, George, good luck tomorrow. And thank you to everybody at home for leaving your comments and your subscriptions and your likes and all that good stuff. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place, for another episode of Inside Irons. D, remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.